Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Katrina and this is Katrina Reads. Let's just acknowledge my little friend. Say hello to my little friend. Today I wanted to do another used book monthly unboxing. And I added a few other bookish things that I want to show off um, because they were, it's some gorgeous black business stuff, black girl business stuff. So first let me talk about the books that I got from Used Books Monthly. Um, I'm going to obviously hold up the book. It's going to be backwards. But for these books were particularly pretty. Um, one is not. One is just a regular this first one here, it's a Michael Conley book. Um, it's a um, Harry Bosch novel. I watched the first one or two seasons of Harry Bosch, and I think I've listened to a couple of the books. Um, I might pick this up and listen and watch it. <clears throat> uh, I, might this, I might pick this up and read it. Um, it's something more so up my husband's alley. One other thing is I'm surprised that Harry Bosch looks like this. I thought he would look more like James Patterson just because of the type of books that he's writing. And I know authors sometimes use old pictures, but he kind of cute. Anyway, so um, I, I don't think you, we need to read about Harry Bosch. I think most of us who read or wa watch TV know it's just, it's a regular detective story. Um, nothing, nothing special. So I wasn't, I'm not going to read the um sub description synopsis whatever you want to call it for that one i thought this was especially pretty um it says teeny by christopher grant back of this high school freshman teeny is a good student with a bright future ahead of her more than anything she hopes to be accepted into a prestigious study abroad program in spain even if it means studying extra hard to get in but when the captain of the basketball team and Teenie's longtime crush starts to notice her, she finds that school is the last thing on her mind. And when Cherise, her best friend, gets involved with the super sketchy guy she met online, things get even more complicated. Un unfortunately, Teenie's crush is nothing like she expected, and her attempts to help Cherise seem to do more harm than good. Can Teenie get her act together in time to save her friendship, save her GPA, and save herself from a potentially dangerous uh, relationship. Um, this is something I think I would read as like in conjunction with some other YA books that I have in uh, my library that I haven't gotten around to, I, and I have a few. So this, and then this is something I would definitely want to keep on the shelves for if my daughter wants to pick up because it seems like it would have some a good message and some good representation. Plus, I think the girl on the cover is beautiful. Now, this book is beautiful. Um, Bellman in Black. The cover is that weird velvet. This is um, this was a surprise to get something this beautiful. I have no idea what it's about. Um, oh, it's by the author of The Thirteenth Tale. And I remember, I, I don't think I read that. I remember I kept thinking, you know, it's one of those books that's on the bestsellers list that you keep meaning to get to um but for some reason you're just being ornery because the buzz and the hype is so much and you're like i'll get to it when i want to i'll get to it when i get to it then you never get to it i think the 13th tale is one of those and i think i might have even had it on my bookcase and it got lost in a move we had a really terrible move a couple years back and we lost like half of our stuff with this really sketchy moving company <laughs> And I, I think I, I, uh, I had the Thirteenth Tale. I had um, the B. What is it? The B. Oh, the Spelling Bee book. Um, I can't think of the name of it right now. There's a couple of classics like um, the Kite Runner and things like that um, that I kept meaning to read, and I was kind of collecting them. And some of them got lost. It's not just um, velvety. It's velvety on one side, and then like. This is just a beautiful cover, cover, so I think I would keep this book. And like, if I ever do the bookshelf thing that people have behind them, and then they have the books sometimes facing out, um, this is one I would have facing out. It's so beautiful. Caught up in a moment of boyhood competition, William Bellman recklessly aims his slingshot at a rook resting on a branch. 
killing the bird instantly. It is a small but cruel act and is soon forgotten. By the time he has grown with a wife and children of his own, William seems to have put the whole incident behind him. It was as if he never killed the thing at all. But rooks don't forget. Years later, when a stranger mysteriously entered William's life, his fortunes began to turn and the terrible, unforeseen consequences of his past indiscretion takes root. In a desperate bid to save the only precious thing he, ha he has left, he enters into a rather strange bargain with a stranger partner. Together, they found a decidedly macabre business, and Bellman in Black is born. I am so intrigued. I am, this is, this is going on a quick, this is going on a TBR, um, on my TBR thing. This is very intriguing. This is very, I'm very interested in this book. This was a good pick by them. My TBR thing is messed up. Here's another beautiful book. Uh, so I'll see if I can make sure I find the cover of it. Again, I don't know why I'm showing it to you backwards. Um, but it's something that I'm not used to um, reading. And it, it's a, um, a, com it's a collection of, book, of stories. But I do have on one of my little TBR requirements is that I want to do things that are out of my comfort zone. And this just seems weird. So Vampire in the Lemon Grove by Karen Russell, author of Swamplandia. From the author of the New York Times bestseller Swamplandia, a, f a finalist for the Pulitzer Prize, a magical new collection of stories that showcases Karen Russell's gift, gifts at their inimitable best. Inimitable best. A dejected teenager discovers that the universe is communicating with him through talismanic objects left behind in a seagull's nest. A community of girls held captive in a silk factory slowly transmute into human silkworms spinning delicate threads from their own bellies and escape by seizing the means of production for their own revolutionary end. A massage therapist discovers she has the power to heal by manipulating the tattoos on a war veteran's lower t torso. When a group of boys stumble upon a mutilated scarecrow bearing an uncanny resemblance to the missing classmate they used to torment, an ordinary tale of high school bullying become a, becomes a sinister fantasy of guilt and atonement. In a family's disastrous quest for land in the American West, the monster for the monster is the human hunger for acquisition, and the victim is all that we hold dear. And in the collection's marvelous title story, an unforgettable peril of addiction and appetite, mortal terror and mortal love, two vampires in a sun-drenched Lemon Grove tried helplessly to slake their thirst for blood. This sounds crazy. This sounds crazy in a good way. Crazy, crazy good. Um, so, um, three out of the four books this month are absolute pluses. Um, what's the word I'm going to say? I'm going to say uh, preemptive five stars just from the premise and from the look of them and from how beautiful they are and stuff like that. So we'll see if they actually end up being five stars, but uh, good job. Okay, so the other book mail that I got, I already hurt, my feelings are hurt, that I bent one of my bookmarks, but I got these pretty prints. Okay, let's make sure that the light isn't messing with it. So I got this really pretty print from this. I'm obsessed with this look right now. Um, let's see. Oh, the, the, the light still gets on it. So I'm obsessed with this kind of, this look right now. The burnt orange and the beiges and the yellows. Um, the abstract. I have a bunch of earrings. And then I just actually bought, from, well, the same day that I bought this print and the bookmarks that came with this, I bought some prints to do that so that um, I'm going to do a, a, what you call it back there, um, a gallery wall back there of prints like this except it's black women and I think some some um, of the abstract and art and things like that but it's the same color scheme I'm just so it's so funny because um, 
right now I'm not I, I just put some painter tape on it and put it on my wall over here but my husband walks in and he sees it and he goes oh wow that's you from the hair to the book to the coffee to the plants to the crazy pillows to the and I was just like that's why I bought it <laughs> anyway so that's the first one and so right now like I said I'm just got it on like sitting on my wall with some painter tape for right for right now and even the card that they sent the thank you card um thank you Katrina for I'm sorry I got painter tape on it because I put it on the wall too is a beautiful print I am just I'm absolutely in love um thank you Katrina for your order as a as a black small business owner every order not only supports my shop but provides me with the resources to continue creating new art and fresh products infinite thanks from the bottom of my heart for your support i hate that i, I think i bent it a little bit i dented it um feel free to tag us in your photos on instagram i will definitely do that and then connect with us i'm gonna um it's uh at k their instagram is at k l i g g dot co um, and the website, website is K L I G G C O.com, but I found them on Etsy. I found this shop on Etsy. So let me put this back up on my wall. I keep denting it cause I'm pressing it with my, my nail. Just love it so much. And so Sula is the book I'm reading this month and the bookmarks that I got come there's So this one bookmark comes from um and that's another thing i'm obsessed with the no face abstract thing um i told my son that i wanted him to do some of those for me um I, my oldest son is really artistic and he i keep bugging him he won't do it so i was like i'm just gonna buy one then so i buy some then so some of the like i said some of the uh photos that i need to like go to i have to go to i don't know is kinko still a thing i need to actually go somewhere and have them printed out because i want big poster size ones um, of those prints um, so that's Toni Morrison definitions belong to the definers not the defined Toni Morrison so I'm going to use that for my Sula, Sula book that I'm reading this month uh, yeah that's my continuation of my Toni Morrison project I don't know what I just did but I bent this somehow but this is the James Baldwin one not everything that is faced can be changed, but nothing can be changed until it is faced. James Baldwin. Oh, um, and each back of them each has like the company, and it's it has that. Um, it has that abstract shape art that I'm really obsessed with right now, and I would love to. Um, I don't know hold on to it I started to try to do my um, bookstagram that way and it Im immediately went off I went off went off of the theme <laughs> got I got my my scrapbooky junky um, my junky scrapbooky sensibilities took over I'm not I'm not disciplined enough to kind of keep the same color scheme and the same theme um, and I wish I was I, I kind of want to delete everything on my Instagram and start back over and try to keep the theme but I don't think I'll be able to and so this is the last one um, it's Maya Angelou my mission in life is not merely to survive but to thrive and to do so with some passion some compassion some humor and some style and it's a woman um, with her hair up and a stack of books and on top of the books a hot steaming cup of coffee good god there we go i'm in love absolute love so i was um that was uh, i'm in love i'm in love with that um i'm going to be looking at her shop some more and seeing what else i can get now the book that i got from book of the month is what's mine and yours by name naima coster book of the month I will show the book uh, again I'll put it up and I think they sent I think this is supposed to be a bookmark too it says where are where were we book of the month so a community 
in the Piedmont of North Carolina rises in outrage as a county initiative draws students from the largely black east side of town into predominantly white high schools on the west. For two students, G and G or Guy and Noel, the integration sets off a chain of events that will tie their two families together in unexpected ways over the next 20 years. On one side of the integration debate is Jade, G's steely, ambitious mother. In the aftermath of a harrowing loss, she is determined to give her son the tools he needs to survive in America as a sensitive, anxious young black man. On the other side is Noelle's headstrong mother, Lacey May, a white woman who refuses to see her half Latina daughters as anything but white. Wow. She strives to protect them as she couldn't protect herself from the influence of their charming but unreliable father, Robbie. When G and Noel join the school play meant to bridge the divide between the new and old students, their paths collide and their two seemingly disconnected families begin to form deeply knotted, messy ties that will shape the trajectory of their adult lives. And their mothers, each determined to see her child inherit a better life, will make choices that will haunt them for decades to come. A love as love is built and lost, and the past never too far behind, what's mine and yours is an expansive, vibrant tapestry that moves between the years from the foothills of North Carolina to Atlanta, Los Angeles, and Paris. It explores the unique organism that is every family, what breaks them apart, and how they come back together. Oh, that sounds beautiful. I also think this cover is really beautiful. Um, at the bottom is the city and I I like this it's people actually um, it's a bunch of people laying down you don't see that right away when I was looking at it I was just thinking about how I love to do my thumbnails and I love to do swoops of paint um, and that's what I thought it was at first and then I noticed those are people all laying down and I love when a just a cover even makes you kind of just oh oh Oh, you know, um, and also the fact that this is kind of the style that I do a lot of my thumbnails in. At the end of the video, emoji be a black woman, a black girl, because of just how gorgeous um, this is and my art pieces over there are. Um, thank you so much for continuing to like and subscribe, sharing the video, uh, ringing the bell so that you know that um, when I upload a video, um, I actually have a schedule. I upload videos on Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. I, uh, be easy on yourself, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.